Hi ladies, I'm back. Sorry I didn't get a video up on Friday. Sorry, itchy nose too. Um, it The day just kind of went by and um, hubby and I went to my old hometown and I showed him where I went to high school and my first job and so um, it was just a chill day and I didn't even cross my mind to record. So um, here's an update on how Clomid went for me. I went in for my appointment, they did a baseline ultrasound, and um, I was still on AF during the time. Uh, it was really <laughs> uncomfortable to be bleeding and um, cramping and then have something stuck <laughs> in you, moving it around to look at your ovaries and follicles, but whatever we've got to do, right? Anywho, so we went and did the ultrasound. They doctor prescribed my RE prescribed me Clomid 100 milligrams and that day was cycle day four so I was like oh you want me to take it tomorrow cycle days five through nine she goes no I want you to take it today so I'd never heard of that uh, so I took my Clomid cycle days four through eight and um, yeah I was really scared I read so many horror stories on Clomid and the side effects that it could have. The horrible headaches was like the main one. And so I was really scared. I just, I decided my doctor wanted me to take it at the exact same time every day. I know there's some people that say their doctors don't really care, but my RE wanted me to take it the exact same day or exact same time. I'm sorry. So I decided to take it at night just in case so I could sleep through the side effects if there were going to be any. Um, and uh, so I took it at, I meant to take it at 10 and then it went to like 10.07 and I'm weird like that. So I was like, well, let's do 10.10. So every day for five days, I took it at 10.10 10 p.m. And I'm happy to report that I had no side effects. Well, sort of. I had one day that I woke up in the morning and my head was throbbing really badly. Um, I didn't take anything for it. I drank some coffee and kind of just rested and it went away. It wasn't an all day thing. Um, it was pretty bad but I didn't have to take any Tylenol so it wasn't that bad I guess. Um, sorry my nose really itches. So yeah I, I slept fine. I didn't have any body aches or pains, um, and and that was that. And that yesterday was my last day of COVID. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Who's to say that in the future that's not going to be the case? But I was very happy for my first time experience that everything was okay. So now we wait um, Friday, which today's Wednesday. I will have another doctor's appointment, and they will do. They'll just do another ultrasound to look at my follicles again. And if all is well, then they will tell me when to trigger. I decided not to do injectables this cycle, but my RE uh, really wanted me to trigger shot. So I decided to just go with it uh, and not be a big, big baby. Put all fears aside. It's all going to be worth it. So um, this is... Oh, it doesn't have my information on there. Oh, no. So this is what it came in, and you have to keep it refrigerated. And this one is already pre-filled. So they sh at the doctor's office, they had a specialist there, and they show you, and if your husband is there, um, how to do it. They demonstrate it. She said three inches on either side of your belly button. You pinch or you wipe with a swab. You let it all dry out or else it'll burn, she said. And you stick it and you're done. So um, I've seen enough videos on this so I think I'm okay. Everyone says you don't even feel it because the needle is really that thin. So I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, obviously. But this is what it looks like and it's already pre-filled and that little cap literally is like an inch that where the gray is that's the actual needle and it's super super thin so um yeah I think I'm I was originally gonna let my mother-in-law do it because she's an uh, a nurse sorry I'm trying to get it back into the box 
Okay. That's not going to work right now. Uh, but I think that this experience is really mine and my husband's. And uh, I... I think I'm going to trust him enough to just do it, and um, I will record it, and hopefully I'll get to post it. I know that there's a lot of people who have questions, and um, a lot of people talk about it, but don't. I've only seen a few videos where they've actually done it. Um, some people just tell you what, uh, what happened. So we'll be recording that. It's part of our journey, and it'll be cool to look back afterwards. So, yeah. Uh, what we're doing uh, is just temping, BBTing, and um, doing my little uh, fertility monitor ovulation thing. Uh, so far, obviously, low fertility um, has come up, and that's to be expected. What else? What else? What else? Um, oh, I Depending on what happens at the doctor's appointment on Friday... Uh, we are going to try to do the sperm meets egg plan as best as we can for our situation because I know that some of them say cycle day, starting cycle day 10, uh, BD every other night until you get a positive, then you BD three day that day, two days after, skip a day, and then one last day. Uh, but Friday will be cycle day 11 for us and if it all goes well i'm expecting that saturday will be trigger day so or that friday night will be trigger day so that means saturday sunday monday skip tuesday wednesday and then we'll see what happens and see if we caught the little eggies but again it all depends on what the doctor's appointment is like on friday so hubby and i are in great spirits um, I don't know. I don't know why, but we are very uh, just happy and joyful, and um, and I'm okay. I'm expecting. How should I say this? Every month, it, I'm hopeful, super hopeful uh, that it'll be our month. But I've gotten to a place in this journey where if it doesn't happen, the end doesn't happen this month, and that just means that. It wasn't the perfect time. I really, really believe that, you know, when it's meant to happen, it'll happen. No matter what drugs we put in our bodies, no matter how many shots we take or medicine pills we take or how much we BD, I think really it helps our chances, but it's our own, it's like for our own sanity. At least this is my belief. I really believe that when it's meant to happen, it'll happen no matter what you do. There are so many stories of women who tried and tried and tried, took a break, and that's when they got pregnant. So, you know, um, we're excited for every month and very hopeful for every month. But if it doesn't happen, then we move on to the next cycle. And we're grateful for having the insurance that we have to be able to um, go through with these treatments. And uh, I, I'm very blessed to have a husband who's so supportive and he's there in the rooms with me holding my hand if I need him to, um, and I couldn't ask for anyone better to go through this journey with than him. He's He really is my rock. So that's that. Um, I, I'm trying to think. I'm uh, still trying to get the house ready to sell, and um, yeah, so just concentrating on that. I wasn't supposed to go to work today, but I got called in, so I'm headed there now. I need to pack my lunch and get that ready, get this uh, needle back in the fridge, and I will talk to you guys 